The new F1 laser from Extool is the fastest portable infrared and diode laser engraver on the market today. This machine sports dual lasers and is lightning fast because of its Galvo engraving technology. I'm going to show you guys all the features of this machine along with a short tutorial that is to the point without wasting your time. Hang out with me. After I unpacked the F1 from its box, I was pleased with the overall aesthetic and design. The dimensions of this portable laser are 7 by 9 by 10 inches with a weight of around 10 pounds. The green color is a nice touch as well. On front of the F1 laser, you will find the X-Tool logo, which lights up when the machine is powered on and a handle for sliding the protective glass up and down. On the sides of the unit, you will find the adjustment knob, framing button, instructional spec sticker sheet, data ports, and emergency stop. And going to the back, you will find a few more power and data ports and an exhaust port for the optional smoke purifier, which I find highly useful. On top of the F1, we have a carry handle. My first impression as I pick this up is that it's well made. Nothing is loose or jiggling around. Good job, Xtool. As we slide the protective glass up, we will find the processing area and removable base plate, which can accommodate the L bracket positioning piece. The L bracket can be tightened down on the base plate and is extremely useful for lining up materials for processing. Along with all of the included accessories, I want to highlight the triangular prism plate, which is made to be used while cutting materials. This fits right over the base plate. Before we jump into the testing, let me briefly show you some of the unique features that Xtool has put into the F1 laser. Feature 1. The F1 can process at lightning fast speed, 4,000 millimeters a second to be exact. This is due to the Galvo engraving technology, which is basically moving mirrors, shifting the laser beam around instead of using a gantry like the traditional diode and CO2 lasers. Feature 2, the F1 comes with dual lasers as stated earlier, a 2 watt infrared and a 10 watt diode. Combined, you can process over 300 plus materials according to Xtool. Feature 3, the F1 has fine detailed movement accuracy, and when I say fine, I mean fine. It can engrave fonts down to 0.3 millimeters. This can produce clear and vivid details that far outperform a lot of lasers out there. Feature 4, as I mentioned earlier, we have a quick adjust focus knob and a framing button on the right side of the laser. Under certain circumstances, this allows us to process materials much faster than fooling with the software. Feature 5, the F1 is compatible with the RA2 Pro rotary attachment, slide extension, and smoke purifier as I mentioned earlier. The smoke purifier is great if you don't have a dedicated ventilation setup, and it consists of a pre-filter, HEPA filter, and charcoal filter with a simple high and low setting. Just attach the hose from the exhaust port on the F1 to the intake port on the smoke purifier and turn it on, and you will be in business. Now let's get to the fun part. We are going to do some testing with different materials. I will be using Xtool's Creative Space software for all these tests. For our first test, we are going to engrave this aluminum business card. And as we open up Xtool's Creative Space software, you can see that I have this image of a wolf. This is a preset I got from Xtool. Now let's look over here on the right side. You can see we have score, engrave, and cut. And since this is a preset, we can see that this is already selected for the infrared laser process. If I were to clip this, this would switch it over to the blue. I do want to take this power down just a little bit, right around to 50. And now let's measure our business card. I want my image to be about 72 millimeters in height. And I know that the 46 millimeters in width will be fine. You can see that our two dots are out of alignment. We need to focus this. Now I can go here and autofocus, or I can just grab the knob and turn it on the side. And I'm just going to do this. I'm going to turn it left and bring it close. And I want these dots to intersect. And there we go, they're overlapping perfect. Now that we got this focused, we are going to go over and hit the frame button. So as I hit this, you can see this blue line right here. That's where it is going to engrave at. We need to drop this down a little lower and just manually line it up. There's probably a more efficient way of doing this. I also have a framing button on the side. This works just like it would with Creative Space, except this is a lot faster than clicking the button on the computer. 
we are pretty much lined up. I am going to drop that down just a little bit. Now, if we go to the gear wheel, we have the rectangle mode or the outline mode. So let me hit outline and let's do this again. And if you see this going around, you can see the outline of the wolf. How cool is that? These are the two framing modes and you can get a better idea of how this is going to engrave. Okay, now we are going to hit process and oh my gosh did you see how fast this was i messed up on my timer so this was actually in about four seconds i could not believe that let's engrave a realistic portrait now and just like with the other test we want to frame this and as i hit frame you can see that i have already got this set up one minute and 35 seconds and i am blown away at that quality are you kidding me oh my gosh that is crazy let's try engraving this piece of wood now now we are framing this and look at that that is so cool i just love that oh yeah Look at how that beam is just dropping down into there. That is wild. Look at that laser. Okay, we completed this in right under one minute and 23 seconds. This engraving is a little light for my locking, so I would probably run this at a little lower speed. But for completing this entire engraving in right under one minute and 23 seconds is still pretty awesome. Let's engrave some silverware now. You can see the name being framed. All I have to do here is to bring the knife up and line it up. That is so cool. It's hard to tell on camera, but I am seeing the name being engraved. Yep, perfect. These turned out fantastic. Look at the lettering here, just perfect dark letters. The only complaint I have is that I got the font a little too big on this knife, but I am loving this so far. This is so fun. Now we are going to engrave this fake leather journal. Wow. Eighteen seconds, guys. <laughs> wow. I love this. And to be honest, this is a lot more convenient than using my CO2 or diode lasers for this small stuff. I love this. For the next project here, we are engraving some photo paper. Now this took a little under 29 seconds and look at that quality. That is just crazy. I am loving that. Now for the next project here, we are using the triangular prisms and we are going to cut some 5.6 millimeter basswood. And I sped this up. This took probably about 30 seconds or less and it engraved fine. You know, I would not just use this to engrave all the time, but when you need it to, it will do a good job. For this next test, we are doing some slate tile, and I had it on the score mode, and this completed in just, just super fast. I love this framing feature. This has me sold, I tell you. Okay, I'm going to close this. I should have put this design up there, but this scoring is going crazy fast. I found these mini cutting boards at my local Hobby Lobby and I grabbed a few of them. And I think I should be able to turn around a few of these for quick profit. There we go. We can put some oil on there and darken it up. But yeah, super cool. Now we are going to do a test engraving on this tumbler. And I am just going to leave this flat. Wow. Are you serious?
This is even engraving on the sides, on the curved surface. Oh, forgot to stop my timer. This completed in 20 seconds. Can you believe that? We are going to do another one of these. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? We could put this in the sink with some water and this would clean right up. That is so impressive. For this next project, we are going to engrave this gold plated necklace. Okay guys, this completed in 26 seconds. Can you imagine taking this to a craft show and doing this? You would make so much dang money. Nice. Look at the fire. We ran through a ton of tests here, guys, and I am honestly impressed. I'm trying to think of any negatives, but so far nothing is sticking out to me other than that this needs a carrying bag or carrying case since this is portable. It's not really a deal breaker, but it would be nice to see. Now for the big question, who should get the F1 laser? And hopefully this will help you decide whether you should get this or not. I know that Extol did research on CO2 laser owners and found out that these specific people wanted a portable unit that could be used at craft shows for the processing of smaller projects for quick turnaround. A lot of the people that have ordered the new Extol P2 CO2 laser have bundled the F1 with it for this purpose. Extol actually made a special bundle price if you purchase the P2 CO2 laser and F1 together. This is good news if you are going to go all out on laser engraving. Now, if you don't do any craft shows or sell a lot of projects at events, that is okay. This is still a very viable option for a laser. The portability allows the F1 to be stored easier, and if you need to, you can take it to a friend's house to show it off. And Extol's Creative Space software makes this super easy to use. I truly believe that first time users will be able to pick the F1 up with a small learning curve. For that, I recommend it. I don't have any lasers on hand to compare the F1 to, but in my research, it would be the Laser Pecker or the Gweek Cloud G2, which is currently on Kickstarter. I'm not that big of a fan of the Laser Pecker, and I hate that stupid name, that's so stupid, but the G2 does look promising, and it has a 20 watt infrared diode. That's pretty dang powerful. Weigh your options between these machines and see which one works best for you. For my needs, the F1 checks off more categories than the others. I am now using the F1 alongside my P255 watt CO2 laser and I can tackle just about any project while putting some extra money in my pocket from side jobs. Now, depending on the time that you are watching this video, Xtool is running a Mother's Day sale and you can save a lot of money with my affiliate links below. So if you are on the fence, now might be a good time to get started with laser engraving. Anything purchased through my links will help support the channel at no extra cost to you, and I cannot thank you guys enough. And so you know, I would not promote something I wouldn't use myself. I am extremely picky who I choose to work with, and Extol is one of the few companies I will support that has my stamp of approval. And by the way, if you have ever missed a sale, just check back to my videos. I will try to have a link to the best possible price or sale going on to save you guys money. The links are below to the F1 and the F1 bundles I recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps you guys make an educated decision whether the F1 is right for you or not. Be sure to share this video with a friend and leave a comment below if you have any questions. In fact, let me know what laser projects you would like to see. I have some more videos coming out. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.